Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're talking about Microsoft Purview Information Protection, also known as Microsoft Information Protection. And this is a collection of features within Microsoft Purview, formerly Microsoft 365 compliance to help you discover, classify, and protect sensitive information wherever it lives or travels. So the idea here is that we have this diagram and we have four specific domains that are information protection capabilities around our data. And so the first is know your data. The second is protect your data. The third is prevent data loss. And the fourth is govern your data. So we'll be going over all these sections in the next few slides. Taking a look at the four domains here for the Microsoft Purview Information Protection, these are features found within Microsoft Purview. So the first is know your data, understand your data landscape and identify important data across your hybrid environment. So one feature would be sensitive information types. This identifies sensitive data by using built-in or custom regular expressions or a function. It provides corroborative evidence, includes key keywords, confidence levels, and proximity, we have built-in sensitive labels, and you have custom ones as well. So then there's trainable classifiers. This identifies sensitive data by using examples of the data you're interested in rather than identifying elements in the item, so pattern matching, and you can use built-in classifiers or train a classifier with your own content. So you have trainable classifiers here. For data classification, this is a graphical identification of items in your organization that have a sensitive label, a retention label, or have been classified. You can also use this information to gain insights into the actions that your users are taking on these items. So that's the context explorer and the activity explorer. The second part is protect your data. So apply flexible protection actions that include encryption, access restrictions, and visual markings. So you have sensitivity labels. Azure information protection unified labeling client, double key encryption, Office 365 message encryption, service encryption with customer key, SharePoint information rights management, rights management connector, Azure information protection unified labeling scanner, Microsoft Defender for cloud apps, and Microsoft information protection SDK. Most of these you won't need to know, but we'll definitely cover sensitivity labels. Then we have prevent data loss. So this prevents accidental oversharing of sensitive information. Here you have Microsoft Purview data loss prevention, and point data loss prevention, Microsoft compliance extension, there's a Chrome extension that does compliance for you, so it's built in your browser. There's the Microsoft Purview data loss prevention on premises scanner, and protect sensitive information in Microsoft Teams chat and channel messages. We'll definitely take a closer look at Microsoft Purview data loss prevention later. Next, we have Microsoft Purview data lifecycle management, formerly Microsoft information governance, which is a collection of features to govern your data for compliance or regular so for Microsoft Purview Data Lifecycle Management, it keeps what you need and deletes what you don't. We have retention policies and retention labels, inactive mailboxes, archive mailboxes, import service for PSD files, and for Microsoft Purview Records Management, it manages high value items for business, legal, or regulatory record keeping requirements. You have file plan, retention labels for individual items, retention policies if needed for baseline retention, and disposition review and proof of disposition. So those are the four domains in Microsoft Purview Information Protection. Govern your data is not technically part of it as it's in the data lifecycle and records section, but I included it anyways.